Hi and welcome to Tallulah Lagash. This is the second video of my rebooted channel. The first one was uploaded this morning and just to give you some kind of insight into how bad my channel was before I rebooted it, not only had I not made any content for about a year but I had been making what I called wild vlogs which were spontaneous little videos that I made out in nature. I would turn on my camera and just record me on a walk, not always with my face in camera, sometimes just showing you my view and I would discuss the dreams that I'd had the night before, typically when I was in the middle of doing a um, dream incubation experiment. Now those wild vlogs are very good for me because they enabled me to be able to quickly, without any kind of preparation or forethought, record content in my absolute favourite environment which is nature, the tranquility always gets my creativity flowing and gives me good motivational energy but also because there was absolutely no editing it was very raw and direct and I think this is going to have the same effect because I am just sitting out here in the woods um, talking to my camera as it becomes dusk it's about 9 p.m. I'm all by myself and I thought I'd record another video now all of my old content is still going to stay on my channel I have two sections of my channel, two eras. The first was the archive footage, which was really when my channel was in its infancy. And then there was the failed relaunch content. Now, by the way, apologies for all of my fidgeting and itching and scratching. Um, I'm being absolutely demolished by mosquitoes out here. And my kill to death ratio is nowhere near what it was. Um, last summer so I am getting absolutely attacked out here right now they go for my thighs and my butt which are quite meaty areas but um, even through leggings I get um, probably 20 to 30 bites so I deal with it anyway I have in terms of the channel got the archive footage and the failed relaunch footage and I'd previously privated the archive footage and then put it into a playlist. It's now public again. Some of my old content is very awkward and I'm looking to recreate some of that with um, just a more updated twist. And you can let me know what you would like to see in terms of my old dream work updated again. So today's video, I thought, you know, I need to talk about my dreams. There had been a year where I haven't been recording my dreams in my dream blog, Viva Lagash, which is linked in the description box below. I have explained why that is in my first video uploaded this morning, which is my major mental breakdown, which is now in the 20s of views. So that's going absolutely awesome. And I genuinely mean that because it is the most views that I've had in a long time. In fact, one of the reasons why I made my archive footage public again was simply because that was the content that had the most views. Anyway, today I'm talking about why I can't have sex with my boyfriend or why I can't have sexy time with my boyfriend because I think I've made the title just a little bit more soft edged for the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you are familiar with my old content, in particular the Love on Lockdown series, or even if you've just watched my previous video from this morning, which was my major mental breakdown, which explains um, the absence from my channel and why I abandoned all of my dream work, uh, you will think, well, Tallulah, your boyfriend is in prison and he has been in prison for 17 years, so it's obvious that you're not able to have sexual intimacy with him. Why are you making a video about this? Well, I mean in the dream world. Because as much as I can't have actual physical sexual contact with my boyfriend in the real waking reality, me being out in the free world and him being in jail, I should be able to do that in the context of a dream. Now, there's always something which is an obstacle to me having sex with my boyfriend in a dream. And I don't just mean in normal, non-lucid dreams where my subconscious takes me into a scenario where I'm about to have physical contact with my boyfriend or I'm about to have sexual contact with him specifically and then something happens. Usually he's going to be recalled to prison or 
the police are coming for him so he's either got to submit and surrender himself to the police or go on the run and we just can't have sex because going on the run is more important but uh, there's always something which intervenes to stop us being able to have sex that's not surprising to me however I do have lucid dreams and I can control my dreams and use visualisation techniques. Dream visualisation techniques is something that I've covered previously on this channel. And in the spirit of teaching lucid dreaming and dream control and dream visualisation, I will cover these topics again. I think most people who stumble upon this, upon this channel or stumble across this channel come for the tutorials, in particular lucid dream tutorial work. So... I um, will at some point explain some of these methods that I am getting more adept or experienced at using so that you can experiment with them yourself. But nonetheless, I use dream control and dream visualization quite a lot to alter and shift and manipulate the content of my lucid dreams. Now, the typical way that I enter a lucid dream or the most successful way that I have of entering a lucid dream is by having a false awakening. To a certain extent, I can manipulate when I have a false awakening. So if I used nicotine patches, that will create that scenario for me. Or if I don't smoke cannabis for a prolonged period of time after having smoked it. So typically, and when I say a prolonged period of time, actually um, that's inaccurate. It could be anything... Um, from 24 hours of quitting having previously indulged. So if you smoke cannabis and then you stop, um, you can increase your possibility of having a lucid dream or a false awakening. But particularly a lot of people who have smoked cannabis and then stopped within the first 24, 48 hours report very vivid or bizarre dreams. So using nicotine patches, having smoked cannabis and then stopped, Using particular dream um, supplements or lucid dream supplements. Sometimes even just drinking a lot of caffeine which keeps my mind awake and absolutely exhausting my body physically. And then using particular methods of relaxation can increase the possibilities. But there are ways that I can manipulate my chances of having a false awakening. A false awakening is those experiences that you have where... You think that you've woken up and that you're in your bed or maybe you're not in your bed and that could be the first clue that something is amiss. But you wake up believing that you are really awake and in actual fact you're still in this half sleep dream state. So it's like your brain is stuck between sleep and wakefulness and often in these false awakening scenarios there's something that's so uncanny valley that it sparks your conscious brain which is kind of half awake you're right at the cusp of wakefulness to start questioning and using logic and then you realize that something is very off something feels very odd and bizarre and if you then cross over to full consciousness and realize that you're in a dream state then you can then start to control that and use the methods that I use to um, have a lucid dream experience. Now, when I have these experiences, I'm often able to bring people into my dream. So these could be dream characters or they could be people from my actual waking reality that I want to bring in as a dream character. Typically, when I'm in a situation of peril or fear and I feel under threat from something in the false awakening scenario, I might try and bring somebody who I think would be really useful and helpful into my dream. <laughs> now, I've tried to do this with my boyfriend. And AJ, do you know what? He's my dream guy. He's also very, very strong and tough. And he would be a great ally to have in a threatening false awakening slash lucid dream scenario. And then we could transform it and then have sex with each other but there's always something that prevents me from bringing AJ into my dream I can bring other dream characters into my dream and I have successfully done so but I just cannot do it with my boyfriend and I think that my subconscious has got this impasse or barrier a blockage because there's so much hopelessness and despair in our waking reality there's so much lack of autonomy and control and no sense of what the future holds, all this uncertainty and setback. 
I just think my subconscious is reflecting that and it's preventing me from having that physical contact with him and um, because it's such an unknown and to have dated someone for several years and to not have that knowledge of what it's like to have sex with them despite both of you having no reason to abstain and be celibate you know there's no religious or cultural reasons why we wouldn't have sex if we had our physical space and um, ability to do so it's just um, my subconscious can't get over that problem it can't cross over into that realm of fantasy and materialize that now Freud Sigmund Freud who studied dreams and wrote the interpretation of dreams which is a seminal text in dream work spoke of dreams in terms of wish fulfillment now wish fulfillment is the idea that our subconscious will try and fulfill our latent subconscious desires which can sometimes be dangerous or taboo now i don't think having sex with my boyfriend is taboo although sometimes lucid dream sex and wanting to control that scenario can involve taboos and I've covered this in my previous tutorials and posts about this subject matter and I will return to it in future but certainly wish fulfillment is meant to be able to um, act out our deep desires in the safety of a dream space so that we don't then feel compelled to act on them in society in the community where it would be um, dangerous or illegal or just socially um, frowned upon or um, absolutely condemned. In terms of me having sex with my boyfriend, I think it's only natural that someone would have had sexual contact with their boyfriend if they have not been able to do so in the real world at some point in a dream. It would be quite unusual for most people to have never experienced that over the course of three years of a relationship but certainly I'm still trying to get to that stage where I can go from hugging and knowing that we are both up for the physical act of having sex to then something um, intervening to prevent that from moving forward. Now I have had some really enjoyable dream sexual experiences. Ewan McGregor is one of my crushes and I've spoken about having sex with him in a dream on this channel and certainly on my Viva Lagash blog. I've also mentioned that the absolute best sexual experience that I've had, ever had in a dream was um, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, old Luke Skywalker as he appears in the sequel movies um, of Star Wars. And that was quite surprising because I never ever thought that I would enjoy having sex with an older Mark Hamill. It wasn't a particular fantasy of mine, but I've had sex with him on two occasions in the dream world and it was amazing. It was A grade and an experience that I would very welcome repeating in future. But I need to realistically work on having sex with my boyfriend in a dream because it doesn't look like it's going to happen in reality anytime soon. So I'm going to try and work on that, not as a formalised dream incubation experiment or a lucid dream experiment. And I would also feel kind of weird running that experiment publicly on my channel and on my blog. Although, of course, if I did have that experience, I would discuss it on both. I'm going to just keep it to a kind of casual, ongoing dream project that I will record um, the success of. But yeah, when it comes to more formalised experiments, I'll do something a little bit more uh, family friendly, maybe, uh, or at least more general applicability rather than just a fantasy around my gorgeous boyfriend. So maybe you could let me know why you think I can't or don't have sexy time with my boyfriend in my dreams. I'd be really interested to know your opinions and views on that. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see. And you can find my socials in the comments. No, in the information box below this video. So go and hit me up on those. In particular, TikTok is a new platform for me. I am at totally ho so that's t o t a l l y h o at totally ho on tiktok 
also find me on my Twitter and on my Instagram. Those are in the um, links in the description box. So go check those out. Please give this video a thumbs up. That would really help me out. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and share my content if you think it would be interesting for anybody else. I really do want to grow my audience and be able to share my dream work and other content with more and more people around the world and you could really help me out and I'd appreciate it so so much but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and I don't know what my next video will be but I will see you again soon and yeah just thank you thank you so much bye